What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I have some exclusive Taken King gameplay for you guys. Now this footage was supplied to me by Dichronic, a fellow Destiny YouTuber and if it wasn't for this dude I'd, I'd, I'd basically have absolutely jack shit Destiny Taken King ESB wise as I didn't get to go and this dude has supplied me roughly about 3 or 4 gameplays which I will bring you guys over the next few days. So a massive shout out to Dichronic for allowing me to use his gameplay video. Videos. Now we set up who was using the Warlock Stormcaller, that new subclass for the Warlock. And his weapons, his primary, he was using the Suros PDX45, which you guys will see on screen now. A massive shout out as well to More Console, who allowed me to use his actual footage of the weapons and going through all their mods. I'm sure you guys know who More Console is though, but I'll still link his channel in that video description. We'll go through these mods at the same time as you can watch the footage in that background. So mods are first three sites, we have Slow 12, Suros Projection Sight, Improves Weapon Handling. Next site we have on this bad boy is the SPO28, Suros Hollow Sights, Improved Target Acquisition. And then we have the SRO37, Suros Range Combat Scope, Improves Range. We then have perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil, or you can choose oiled flame, faster reload, reduced range. We then have full auto. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. And we also have snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. You can either have this, or you can go for rifle barrel, increased range, or slow reload. Now, this weapon to me, after watching a few of these gameplays, looks incredible. Easily the best weapon people got to use at the E3 event. Now the secondary he was using is called the Iron Wraith. Now this is a sidearm offering solar damage. It's obviously an iron banner weapon. Muzz R, as you can see, this weapon has improved muzzle velocity. Two sights we have on this weapon are fast draw IS, standard sight, a lightweight design, good for recoil control, and we also have short shot IS, snapshot sight, excellent handling, superb target acquisition. We then have Army of One. Unassisted kills with this weapon reduce grenade and melee cooldown. We then also have awareness kills. This weapon grants enhanced motion track resolution for a short time. I'm guessing this has got something to do with that mini map. After you get a kill, a target will show up. I don't know, enhanced maybe? We're just going to have to wait and see. We then have this weapon is effective at an extended range. We then have high caliber rounds, oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes their weapon harder to handle. And we then have reinforced barrel, increased range, reduced stability. Now this is also a weapon, so I have heard people absolutely loved at that E3 event. So I personally could not wait to get my hands on it. The heavy used in this video is the JLB42, which is a Suros rocket launcher. Mods are CQB ballistics, greatly reduced recoil, significant penalty to range. We also have a linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to range and impact, more recoil. And we then have accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. We then have single point sling, switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming, and we then have speed reload, reload this weapon quickly. We then have vacuum, increases the pickup radius of ammo drops for this weapon. We then have perfect balance, this weapon has extremely low recoil and we also have quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Weird thing about this weapon on screen now is though, a lot of people have noticed this as well as me, it doesn't say it offers any elemental damage but in a previous trailer I did see this thing did have solar. So obviously at the E3 event not all weapons were equipped with the right shit. That's obviously the way it is. But guys, those were the weapons he was using in this video. The game mode he was playing was called Mayhem Clash. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's basically why its name states. It's Clash, but fucking Mayhem. Basically, your shit charges 10 times as quick, including your super, as well as your grenades. So basically, this game is going to be full of grenades being thrown everywhere and supers all over the place. Sounds absolutely ludicrous. Cannot wait to play it. I really can't. The map is a new map called Sector 618 on the Cosmodrome War Old Russia. Other than that guys and what you're seeing on screen now I know basically as much as you do as I didn't get to go to E3 and didn't get hands on with this myself so I can't really give a personal opinion on it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said, it was supplied by Dichronic, whose channel is linked in the video description. So check him out and show him some love. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Enjoy the rest of this gameplay and peace out until next time. Peace.
Heavy ammo inbound. Single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a good start. Good work. 